Oh, well, well, well. So you want to play Kensei. You want to be like these guys, hmm? These autistic children of the samurai faction. You want to be like them? Yeah? 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 Okay. We'll be quiet then. Alright? So listen, look, you're going to have to listen on this one, alright? Because the game has changed, man. The game has changed. I want you guys coming out of this academy looking like full-fledged students. Looking like these motherfuckers. I expect nothing but greatness from this academy. I swear to God, guys. I swear to God. But anyway, enough with the shenanigans and hooligans and whatnot. Let's get right into it. I got a couple clips to show you guys on what to do with the new Kensei move set. This is just a beginner's guide, of course. You know, we'll work our way up to an advanced guide. Probably won't come out anytime soon. Just letting you know that it is coming. It's probably going to be in the progress in a couple of months. So... Yeah, I'll be focused on that advanced guide when I find out more moves, but for now, let's hop right into the new mix-ups and moves of Kensei. Let's go. Welcome to the arena with the same old PK we knew from last time. Oh, it feels good to be back. But anyway, guys, this first move is a pommel strike. Now, what you do to do the pommel strike is you go into the top stance and in your first top heavy press square before it lands and it will hit it's a good way to open up turtles and a really good way to just take a tad bit of stamina away but mostly to open up that turtle and i'll show you what i mean by open up a turtle in this next clip okay this next clip shows what you can do with the pommel strike and that's going to be coming in right now this move is basically hitting them with a pommel strike going for an attack fainting going into a guard break and getting off an attack just as stated now you you're gonna want to you know make that faint and that guard break a little bit quicker than what I show in this video but this is very effective when it comes to you know tricking your opponent on what you're gonna do next it's a very it's a very good move. Now this next clip is a little bit about a little bit about bread and butter Kensei. I mean you guys know this stuff, this basic stuff, you know the stuff that I taught you last time. This stuff is still existing. A lot of people thought it wouldn't be, but it still is. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that now. So y'all know this stuff, man. I've taught you this. Uh, you dash into the heavy and basically all right basically this is how you operate this move you dash and then you go into the guard break from the unblockable heavy and then you hit an attack right when it goes to wind up you press square and it'll give you a guard break and you get a free attack congratulations you know something useful now not to be a dick but like I really honestly this it's, it's the same stuff man a lot of this stuff is just the same it hasn't changed much, but, uh, yeah, and I don't really have that many moves, because a lot of this stuff usually works nowadays, so just remember that whole unblockable guard break stuff, that stuff still works, you know, with Kensei and not, and whatnot, so, that, that, just to let you know, that stuff is still, it's feasible, you can do it. This next thing, though, is a little bit trickier. Not really, because it, it kind of incorporates the other stuff I just taught you in this video. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you it now, just so you guys can know. This next move basically can be turned into really anything. With a helm splitter, you know, you could go into this, go into that guard break and get off a heavy, or you could go into a helm splitter uh go into a helm slither faint a heavy and then get a guard break you know there's a lot of stuff you could do with a helm splitter that's always a handy tool to remember with kensei this next move is basically one i like to use when opponents are rolling away or running away from an attack it's a pretty decent move and I'm glad they added it. Well, not added it because it's always been there. I'm just glad they changed it the way they did because now it's a pretty effective move and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that move right now. 
I like to call this move the leaping move. I really don't know the name of it. I'm sure there's like a legit name for it, but it's basically where you just jump forward. What you could do is, is basically if you were to go into an unblockable S so and they try to roll away, you could just go into that leaping move. Like it, like you know how the whole guard break system works with the whole Kensei thing. Basically, all you would do is dash forward in the middle of the unblockable, as you do with the guard break thing, to make, you know, this whole move work. You could just dash forward and hit R2 to do it regularly, as I was showing you, but if you're in the unblockable and they try to roll away, just do the whole dash forward heavy thing. It will work, and it will get them every time. They barely expect it, especially when they try to roll away. This so next move is some bread and butter Kensei, but nowadays I've seen it work more than it used to. And it's as simple as switching your guard from the unblockable. You guys know what I'm talking about. This is basic Kensei stuff, but you know, the stuff you should know when you're only like rep 3. And if you know it at like rep 1, then congratulations, you're pretty good. But anyway, I'm going to show you this, uh, these moves right now. This move can be used in a lot of different ways just switching the regular guard or you can go into an unblockable and faint the attack you throw after that and go into a guard break as I think I'm about to do it now I don't know because I'm, this is all previous recordings I'm just going by a whim here you could go into of course that you can go into a dash from the this is the basically all Kensei's moveset is is revolving around that one top unblockable that's basically that's all you need to know is if you can faint that top uh, unblockable and do different stuff with it then yeah you're gonna be pretty good with Kensei that's all you really need to know you know with the top unblockable just do a couple feints do a couple guard breaks with that top unblockable and you'll be fine this next move is basically it has a lot to do with the one where you switch your guard you know the whole bread and butter can say but it's different and I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it's different now in the first top heavy you do you can switch your guard and you can do a lot with that move like you can you know try to pull it off you could just switch your guard regularly or you could faint the uh, guard switch into a guard break as so and then that gives you a free attack so you know that's a handy tool to know it's definitely good because it mixes it up a lot with Kensei and this final move with Kensei is a pretty interesting move that I like to do especially nowadays but it's just you know something that's kinda there for me and I'm gonna go ahead and show it right now Sorry about the whole noun thing, like now thing. I've been saying, you know, right now, you know, it's, it's kind of stupid, honestly. I'm not expecting this video to get far. So basically what you're going to want to do is during the top unblockable, you're just going to want to soft faint during the wind up. You know what I mean by the wind up, like right here. You're just going to, you're just going to want to soft faint a light in a different direction. And it'll get, it throws them off a lot. So that's that's it for the Season 5 Kensei Guide. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it helped you. And if it didn't, that advanced guide is coming soon. I'm sorry. I know it's probably going to be a trash video, to be 100% honest with you. But it's just a beginner's guide. I will say that. Don't expect nothing extravagant. This stuff is just going to, you know, this is just stuff to teach you how to get by with Kensei. And, you know, all that different stuff. So... Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for 300 subs, and we're quick on our way to 400. Hopefully, we'll hit 1,000 by, I say, the end of summer. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy once again, and deuces.